You need a ladder so you can lift it up and bring it out? their seventh time doing yeah. this. Everybody knows where to go and what to do. We came out on. at the perfect time. Yep. We came out I at the perfect it. time, yeah. Yeah. Hey Daniel. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so right now they are screwing everything off. Yeah. Um, so you know all these panels are pre-built in yep. our in our jig shop the other day we were showing that. Yeah. And all these panels can be built. It's just, it's just two guys. Yeah. So they can put these together in probably three or four hours. So that's, and what I love about, you know, our ESPs is this, this can be the finished wall inside and outside. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be painted or sided or anything at last. So we put it up, there's no studs in it. And everybody, you know, they call them the SIP panels, which is mm -hmm. a foam and any kind of, they call it a substrate or whatever on each side. It could be metal, fiberglass, wood, sheetrock or anything. I love these because they're metal and it's so strong and durable and last. But anyway, here we go. We'll put this up. We're opening in a few hours. We'll have uh, this gable. So this is a gable. We've yeah. already cut the wall out. This will set right there because that's they got the door out. And that's where the door will be. And then we put the other gable. And then we'll put a, another gable in the middle that will hold the roof system. We'll just now, will the roof go on today? That's the only thing I've not been able to film yet, is them yeah. putting on the roof. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the roof. So I want, I'll make Dormers, sure Dormers, everything. Okay, because I got all the others, but I'd like to show all that today. So they're all in it, and and I'm, I want to just do the whole thing today and get yeah. it completely done. Yeah, that'd be it? awesome. And we just started here a little bit. We got other homes going, but we have to throw this one on and get it rolling, too. And anyway, thought we'd bring it to you guys yeah. show you what kind we of We didn't want to miss that. that. Yeah, see, like down here. So you've got flashing because right behind here is wood. So the only thing in the whole house is wood is okay. underneath here. Mm -hmm. oh, we, trim, we trim it. I'm sorry, we trim it out in wood. But then this goes over the flashing. They screw that off, and then these uprights. I love it because see, we were first learning. See that circle right there around that yes. screw? They yeah. know to take it out. They know to take that screw out later. Those pieces of wood up there, they've plumbed them. To make sure they're plumb and straight. Yeah. So now, when we put the wall, we just put the wall up, put a screen. Mm -hmm. We know it's straight and square. Oh, here they're doing the other side. Yeah. Okay. So they got to spin this around because the knot was cut out outside there. Okay. So when we get into our new building, we're gonna have a right and left side building and roofs and all this. Right now, we're just working this through, getting these done. You know, we built six of them, built another six. They probably holler out radio. I don't know who's got one on. It's I, way down there. You don't think it'll show up? No. Okay. Um, let me turn mine off. I'll go down there and... Okay. All right, do that. Now I'll go down and get a thing on there. 
because it's it sounds loud. <laughs> Albert ain't playing. <laughs> We're gonna start flipping tires and stuff. Okay, they're getting ready to put this one up. I love seeing all the guys work together. And they've all started this together. So all the houses, and Randy's gonna give an update on those as well because um, it's been, I think it's been, this is the second week, I believe so. Randy, there's one over here. That's where, I'm hearing it over here. Yeah, it's like, if I pop up, there's a radio, or I hear music. Morning, Bart. There is Bart, there is Albert, you know those guys. There's Travis, and there's Kenny right there, okay? Just kind of give you an update of everybody. Love music, but... So let's see this what? one go Oh, yeah. YouTube won't let us do it, man. <laughs> We're getting ready to put this one up. I want to get over here to the side. Chuck's going to help. Right there's Chuck. So this is the part. Here it goes. You know, of course, it's manual. We're all doing this right now for manual. Yeah. The reason we have a couple guys underneath there is what they do is they make sure that it's <laughs> underneath there. Because the middle. Because the middle. So we're going to put it right there. Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get it up! Up! Run that so thing all the way down there, yeah. Smart, skinny, Travis, Green down there, and that was Chuck that was helping. All the way down here, buddy. Right. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want my I know it. Right Get ya. Now, for future builds, mm -hmm. we've ordered a jib boom lift. Yeah. So it's, it hooks to our forklift, kind of like this thing. Yeah. So this I, is cool. This just came, didn't it? Yeah. I, I bet Lynn is having a time oh, with it. Man. Everybody calls him Eddie, but love my it. brother. Fills it full of trash, picks it up. You pull this lever. Oh, yeah. the other side. You pull the lever. And it dumps. Boop. Dumps. Now that is cool. So we're going to try to get a couple more of these yeah. things. Mm -hmm. This thing was 35 I know. So I've got our trailer wow. manufacturer. He's going to come by today and he's going to see if he can't replicate this, save us some money. Okay. And then he said he might want to start making it. Well, sure. Oh, that's but awesome. We've got that. But our jib boom lift is it fits in a forklift and it's, it's telescopic. So it'll go really high okay. and then it goes out about 10 feet. So it's like a portable crane. Okay. And then we've got these magnets that will lock yes. to the, the, the wall. So we're gonna do lock the magnets. Then we got this, you know, crossbar that hooked to the jib boom list of rigging. Yeah. And we'll build a 
pick it up, right? And set it and get it right, right where we need it and not have to have all the guys and the yeah. fingers and everybody and just set it right in place. Man. And the magnets will hold it. Now listen, I have not ever used magnets. You've never done it. I've never used a gym boob lift. Yeah. Never, never done any of that. But I gotta go for it. Yeah. And that's what I told him the other day. I said, you know, doing what we do, doing yeah. what I do, it's always rolling the dice. It is. You're always learning, you're always trying something new, different. And a lot of times there's nobody else to discuss things with. No. We don't know if the panels will delaminate when I put the magnets yeah, on it. It may know. pull everything apart. We can't use them. Right. But we're hoping right now in concept that it'll work and go. And that's why, you know, on our incredible tiny, I mean, incredible credit boxes that mm -hmm. we're doing, this right here is going to help us or help the guys sure. get in the mentality of how they feel and what they got to do and prep them and all that, you know. Now, something uh, I didn't know if you want to touch on it yeah. now yeah. or if you want to touch on it in our, our video yes, we're going to do I'll later. Touch on it. Okay, go touch it on it now. About ESP Home, some uh, a couple of comments that we got, uh, they were under the impression we're not going to do ESP Homes anymore. And I just kind of wanted us to go over that. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so this is. This is an ESP home. All these down here are ESP homes. Their ESP mm -hmm. is engineer steel panels. Yeah. We will not be building any more of these type of homes out of engineer steel panels. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, now, let me, let me just follow, finish my thought. Right. Um, yeah, I'm talking to me. I ain't talking to you. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got to finish what I was saying. I want to take all of our engineer steel panel ESPs and apply it to our Incredibox. Yes. We've sold 90. We have. So these panels, I don't know how long we can get them. I don't know how long we're going to be able to take them. My obligation is to the 90 people we've sold that we'll hopefully get 100 when right. we're done. Mm -hmm. Then we'll take that from there. Mm -hmm. I've got other ideas that I want to use for the Incredibox. Yeah. Uh, and I was going to talk about that today. We may save that for another video. Mm -hmm. So right now, these are the last of the ESP structured normal look in tiny homes mm -hmm. that's it yeah yeah and you know our models are coming out we're excited about that we so we want to focus on our models and our incredible boxes okay that's where we're going for right now and i know another question you probably asked me is about custom homes right somebody said you're not going to build any more customs no more hobbits and all that we will always be building something extravagant something fun something different something crazy but how I want to go about doing that mm -hmm. is that we do that ourselves. Yeah, exactly. We come up with this wild, fun, you know, like the Thatch House, Different. the Hobbit House. I got so many fun ideas that I want to do. Yeah. And I would love to be able to point where I'm going to take it and do a concept house. And who knows, that might turn into a model home. Like, we've already had a lot of re um, requests on the Hobbit. Yes. That, the last two we designed. I know, yes. Great design. They were done in three weeks, three to four weeks. They were done. And those are ESP. They were ESP homes. Mm -hmm. So, all that's in the in the works. What we're doing is we're changing our entire model of our, of our factory mm -hmm. or our, you know, our business. Yeah. To get away from... The custom homes, and the reason is, is because it's just so labor. It's not working. No. Right. You know, no. like I said yesterday. It takes too much time, sneak. too much labor. Unbelievable. The yes. labor in the organization, and then the amount of of expectation from yes. the customer to us. Yeah. I just don't want it anymore. Well, you know, I just I just want to make an example, okay? When we say we're not going to do custom homes anymore, keep in mind what has what we've been getting for the seven years has been add a doggy door um add a um, a spice rack add um, enough space for blah 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 we're talking it ain't extraordinary things but it throws off the whole thing because it's not it goes away from the standard uh the floor plan and yeah. you add five little custom things it throws it completely off and the customer I've got, I'm working with customers now. They think their plans are, it's no big deal. Yeah. But they've got five different types of windows. Yes, yes. They've got roof lines. They've got porch, um, you know, roofs coming off. That's no big deal. That's right. no big deal. Well, you're not a carpenter and you don't know what you're talking you about. You don't And this is understand. fine. I don't expect you to be. Yes. But the frustration is knowing mm -hmm. 
that the likelihood we're going to disappoint this customer. Right. Yeah. That's been my whole thing since I've been in, I ever got into carpentry. Yeah. Our whole, you got to believe this, but men here that work. Yeah. The worst thing is having somebody dissatisfied with what oh, we do. Oh, they can't, do. they can't stand All it. All the energy they're putting in to build a house today. They can't stand it. You know it. what we want? We're it's like so little, disappointing. Linda, we're like little boys still. They say, hey, mom, hey, mom, look at, me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And you know what? I don't know if ladies understand that. Yeah. But all the men that work here, I don't know about else there, every other part in the world, we are more motivated by compliments more than we are yeah. what we did wrong and how we didn't measure up. Right, exactly. It's just, I don't know if that's for the whole world. Well, and I can't speak for the world, but I know two, on this concrete, yeah. that's how it is. And two, you know, for the price that we're given yep. these and listen we have no regrets over the seven years no but we have to learn from the past seven years yeah. to be better and to help more people to get into an affordable home we will be faster better more efficient yes. happier customers yes. we'll be happier everything but we can't offer and, you, we and less mistakes, Randy. There will be less yeah. mistakes when you have a repetitive. Yeah. And listen, these homes are not just plain boxes. Oh my God! They're, they're going to be unbelievably. They're going to look custom. Let's just say that yes, they're, they're your home, idea. these model yeah. homes, and that should be our slogan this year. Our model homes look like custom homes. They do. So now that's they do. that's they're a testament be, right there. They're going to be elaborate looking mm -hmm. homes. I mean, oh I love gosh. what they're going to do, and, and it is they're still. Somewhat of a learning curve for these guys and the Amish and whoever, all of our guys, yep. subcontractors building these things. Mm -hmm. But it'll be really quick because they've got all the skill level down. We're, we have been going over these plans for the last three or four months. Yes. Preparing for all this. And it has been, it's been tough, man. Well, I've and been, too, you know, I've been so um, busy. the feedback last night from the video was unbelievably, was, was wonderful. Um, we will go over some of those questions and talk about the models more this afternoon. We'll do another video, yeah. but um, it's going in a good way. And I love how people are excited. Like, let's see what you got. Show us then. Good. It's like you go. It's good. gonna. You all are gonna do this. Let's try it. We're not. If something's not gonna work, I know you. You will not keep on with something that doesn't work. So right now, going to models because custom, super custom houses don't work. They don't work right now. So I want to watch them do this. Let's do it. I think they're getting ready to go do it. Go show them. Well, maybe they look, they all they're left. They're all left. Okay. Maybe they're not. Okay. Maybe not. Or maybe I don't, I'm not sure. So this they're putting, uh, uh, is what's it called? A gable wall? Yeah, what's right it? Mm -hmm. Probably the one with the door. We'll go okay. in the back. Yep. Mm -hmm. God, what? how handy is that thing to be able to magnetize on there to stick? <laughs> yeah, well, they're, what they're doing is they're marking the door. So they measure here mm -hmm. and mark the door. So then when they put it, they can adjust it and make sure the lines line up. Yeah. You know? In the future, what I'm hoping on the credit box, our windows and doors are already mm -hmm. in the wall. Mm -hmm. When we set it, it's done. We don't do oh, anything yeah. on the outside of the house. Yeah. yeah. It's kind and of fun to be mechanized. Yes. You know, yes. to try to get more efficient. Everybody just... I don't, it's just a thing. It's like, you know, the whole thing is about speed mm -hmm. and about doing a great job. You know, exactly. Like, can you come off perfect and it look awesome and be fast and we're all like, yeah. You just wait till the first one is done because just please take the time to look at the floor plans, the sketches. It looks pretty on paper just being sketched. You wait till it is live and you oh, see you're it. about the models. Yes, yes, the models. Exactly. They are not going to be blah. When you think of a model, you go, Ugh, you These know. These models, well, the models are are painted inside. Yes. They're polyurethane. The yeah. floors are done, the countertops are done. Natural wood flying Beautiful. and the trim and the ceilings. The big sweeping overhangs with the big corbel bra brackets. Yeah. All that stuff, you know. Oh, so they're going to go ahead and cut out the door. Okay. So... And as you can see, he's got his face shield on. I'm going to get this guy. He's okay. a new guy. When uh, when he's cutting, yes, you're going to you're going to want to get out of the way. All right. Hey Chuck. Now you got to get get your glasses on. You need you all need to have your glasses on, and just get out of the way and let him do his thing. Yeah.
Yeah. He laid his glasses down. I'm gonna make sure they yeah, they get in here and they're not used sure. to wearing them. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, the um, the model homes. I can't do anything just like blah. I hate building just a plain old box. Oh yeah. You know. I got the Incredible Box out here. I said, hey, build an Incredible Box, and it's a box. But the price. And I think you that's what justifies not having maybe some extravagant architecture building. Yeah. Well, you but, know what I like about the Incredible Box? To me, it just looks modern. So it yeah. gives people a spin. We're talking the cottages, the cottage style, we're calling these model homes, cottage style are so so pretty so just cottagey and got all the bells and whistles the incredible box to me looks modern and you can dress it up any way you want to you are getting a blank canvas and if you have and most of our um customers are like this hey, we'll show them out here you want to they're absolutely are they going to be a while on It'll that be a while. okay we'll come back um like but you get a blank canvas this is a blank canvas you can do what you want to it yeah you could put a whole, this whole wall could be um, a living wall. It could have plants all over oh, it. Oh, wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah, the whole place be a be plants. You can set pots on the roof. Oh my gosh, beautiful. You know? Now that's something I was going to ask. I know it has, can you be on the roof? Is there for anything? Like well, if we somebody did a video, there to... was, what, four or five of us up on the roof. Yeah, can Remember you... we showed how strong the roof yeah. is? Yeah. You know, you don't want to go up there and have a party. But, okay, I guess and I'm you know what I've got on mine. You know, you got metal roofing, and it's not made to be walked on. Okay, and I've I got solar asking. panels up there, you know, and stuff. But right. it is, I love it because it's so much stronger. We were up on the roof of this what five? What's it? Four or five guys? Yeah. And uh, Bart, uh, it was all you guys: Albert, Bart, you, Tom, and, Tom and yeah. It was just four of us. Just four, four of you. So you figured eight. 800 pounds yeah. or more mm -hmm. in a and we got and we got together we stood together yeah 800 pounds in the mm -hmm. middle yeah and it's on our none Facebook. of us would want to do that on an rv oh gosh no you there's know? no way so 20 grand come on now, i know you can the rvs are gorgeous they got so many things but you know what this this is gorgeous it ain't gonna leak no it is gonna be there and you have so much space inside mm. This is just gonna last. I know. Man. I know. It's got a metal roof. It's got metal walls. It's got everything. So anyway, twenty thousand dollars. Fight you in credit box. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to talk about. I wanted to say thank you to the many people that have sent me personally notes. Um, I've Cards. tried to. I've sent my email back to. I've sent an email back to a couple people that were just very nice to me. Said nice things. I know you take a chance just sending a note i know that seems weird this person sent a note and, and it, i know you because you don't know me and you send a note thinking, oh this is going to be weird me sending a stranger a note i'm on here all the time but i'm glad you feel comfortable enough to do this and i feel comfortable enough to say hey thank you back you know and i'm going to do it as long as i can you know as and we're not bombarded with thousands and thousands of people i remember watching loretta lynn movie yeah and and i remember her husband was uh, in the living room and she yeah. was out on the road and he sat there and the phone rang and the lady called and she said I just wanted to say hi and thank you and, and he she said she was having a hard time and she yeah. just she was just talking and she was talking to Lutterin's husband mm -hmm. he answered the phone and he said darling I understand he said we all got problems and you yeah. know he was off of all that success he had and she had they were still had their stuff they had to deal with Mm -hmm. The personal stuff, you know. Oh, everybody. But he We're was talking human. to a fan. Yes. An admirer, an admirer just wanted to say thank you. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's just it was just communicating two people, yeah. corresponding. And so, I always love to hear from people, emails, written letters, anything you want to do. And I'm sorry if I don't respond back. I know we've Sometimes got. We've I still, do. We got another stack in there. We got a stack like that of people that sent yeah. cards and notes and letters and. And we read all of them. We just don't don't get the chance to read them on here much anymore. There was a guy that texted me, and this is why I, I know I, I, I give my phone number out now because I've got two phones. I've got a business phone now, was my old number, and my I got a personal phone that I use on my own. But <clears throat> if you've, I, one guy said, I said, how did you call me? He called me two weeks ago. I said, how'd you call me on my cell phone? He goes, six years ago, when you put your phone number out there on the internet, I wrote it down. You know, mm -hmm. and so now I've used it kind of like a business phone. Yeah. But this person sent me, and Charles, I'm 
so sorry, he's from Nashville, I won't give you your last name, Charles and Mary, and you guys sent me a check, and we had gotten this mail in, and it was, I went through all my paperwork, and I apologize, this came in January 19th, mm -hmm. and it's for $100, to help us with our building. Unbelievable. And that, so nice. You guys, you just don't want to realize how much it really means to us that you would think enough to send us. We're a company, of course, we're a company for profit. We're trying to make a living. We're trying to make this thing happen. And you guys want to help us out. And, mm -hmm. and just your thoughts are amazing. But Charles and Mary, I want to say thank you. And this is a small gift for all you do. Mm -hmm. And it was just a handwritten note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say thank you, Charles and Mary. And also, um, I had a check. And this is the same pile of letters that I opened up this morning. Look, and I told the man, I said, look at this. And this is from Pam. And uh, she said, God bless keep, um, and keep you. Randy Jones, I have followed your journey for four years. Watched you bless and enrich every life you touch as you have mine, Pam. You know, it, it gets, it's, yeah. Thanks, Pam. It just really helps. Amanda, all of us working here to hear stuff like that, you know, because you, it's hard because, you know, there are people that you, you just can't please and there are people that um, all I have to do is come on and say hi and, and be be myself and people appreciate that, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So thank you for just reaching out mm -hmm. and she sent $500. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. There's a guy working here right now, Mike, and he sometimes watches these videos, but Amanda shot all the footage of the new the one building that went up, mm -hmm. and then when it fell, and he said, the next day I come on there, two days later, and I said, hey, it fell, let's get back up, and let's get this thing cranking and get yeah. building. We had to, another wall built in two days. Yeah. And um, he said that, in, he's right there, he said that inspired him to come over here and want to see what we're all about and maybe work here yeah you know mm -hmm. so who knows why all that stuff happens everybody always says you know there's a reason for everything i don't know i don't think about there's a reason for everything i just keep going all i know is is that i can't sit i gotta keep moving and it's hard sometimes like you're walking through mud but you know what you just keep going and i tell you everybody just the next day hopefully will rejuvenate you there's always tomorrow yeah you know mm -hmm. so thank you for these letters thank you for your encouragement we're gonna come back later. We're gonna go over there and show you that panel uh, ESP being built. They're cutting out the door right now. We'll come mm -hmm. back and then do a, a continuation yeah, video. Yeah, I'd like to see the roof being put on yeah. too. I've not so, caught that um, yet. If this video, if we're gonna send this one out right now or keep editing on here and we'll No, I'll go ahead going. and post it. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll come back later today. We may have several videos. And of course, we're trying to put together, we don't wanna to throw too much information on you. So yeah. we've, we've done the models, we've done incredible boxes, and we do But have, we do have something else to tell you and we can't, don't tell it yet. <laughs> don't say nothing yet. All right, won't say nothing. <laughs> okay, cool. but that's coming. So we'll yeah. talk about that today. When We'd, I'd like to just tell it all. I don't all right. tell it yet. All right, Okay. Bye. We'll be back, bye.